All right, guys, welcome to another episode. This morning we are trying a new spot that we have never been to. Referred to me by a good old buddy of mine, William, thank you. We are out in the middle of nowhere, guys, and that's what we enjoy, though. We are doing some cold creek smallmouth wading, smallmouth and goggle eye. What I'm thinking is a very unpressured section of the stream. There's no towns here. It's a very long drive to get here out in the middle of nowhere. Had to stop about 50 times on the way here to slow down for deer. And this is a gorgeous, I already like it. I haven't even cast it yet. And I can just tell it's awesome. Wow, easy to walk. Rocky, cold, and clear. Everything screams smallmouth right now at me. I'm going to start off with a rebel, deep rebel crawdad. It's a rust colored one with an orange bottom. 12 pound line with my Cast King Valiant Eagle, my Field and Stream Rod. Let's see what happens. This looks really awesome, guys. I already have a good feeling. Ooh, some fresh deer poop. Nice. Oh man, this is just, yeah, this is good looking. Already seeing some fish, some red horses. Oh, I just got pounded big time. Oh, he's on there. Got him. That didn't take long, guys. Nice small mouth. Honey, already. Oh, oh, oh. instantly caught a 12 inch small mouth, guys. These holes ain't even that big. Yeah, I can tell it's, it's unpressured water. Nice. I'll show her real quick. She's still tying on her lure up here. <sighs> Already. Second cast. Nice I want you to. Um, second cast. Good start, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I like it already. Good. Yeah. Told you the lure. Did you find one just like this one? Mm-hmm. Second throw. <laughs> Not even a very big hole at all either. Really small. <sighs> oh, stop. Okay. Mm. All right, guys, that's a really good start. There we go, green sunfish. <clears throat> green sunfish. Three kinds, large or small mouth, large mouth, green sunfish. All right, got a little greeny. There we go, big goggle eye. Oh yeah. 
Hey, look. Well, it's not big, but it's okay. He swallowed the hook though. Oh man, it'll be hard to get out. Shadow bass on a red wiggler. He swallowed the hook, I had to cut my line. I'm gonna have to go get another hook. He's about six. There we go. Oh man, there's one twice. Oh my God. You should have seen the one following him. Like two pounds following behind this one. This is the, I got the little one of the bunch, but there's a big one in there. Always happens. The, the shadow is always bigger when it comes to smallmouth. Because these little guys are faster to run out and steal it from the... All right, guys, second smallmouth of the day. Nine inch, oh boy. But the one I just seen is a big one. He's out there and he's a big one. He was following mine all the way to the bank. I doubt I'll be able to get them, but you never know. Usually when they that happens, you usually don't see, get them. He was real big, man. As long as you stay on the side, we you can go right through this hole. There we go. Oh yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh yeah, nice smallmouth guy. A little better anyway. He might go 11 or 10. Here, hold the, or uh, hold on, let me let some line out. Here. Uh, that guy's not too bad. Could be better, but hey, it's a fish and it's not horrible size. These smallmouth in here are real light colored. At least today. Probably because the water being so clear. Once again on the little three inch white curly tail, Mr. Twister. Fishing 1980 style, guys. All right. I knew there'd be fish in this hole though, I told you. Oh, nice goggle eye, yes. All right, there we go. Wow, yes. On this is watermelon, suicide chat. Thing never lets me down on these clear streaks, guys. Not a big guy, but he's getting there. Half decent. I'm happy to get anything. Hey, hey. I feel there's going to be a lot of them in these holes up in here. The river just doubled in size. So that's going to change a lot of things. There he is. Oh, God, I got something nice. Big old smally. Oh, ho, ho. Oh man, yeah, oh, three shadowers, guys. Three of them. I knew it, I just knew this hole would have something decent. Oh man. Yes. Oh. My luck is gonna change now. The river, the holes are deeper. They're bigger, and it's gonna have more fish. Alright. Hey 
hay hay. Not giant yet, but that's getting better. He's 12 anyway. 11 or 12 anyway. Heck yeah. Let me get this beauty back in. Back in there where that tree's right in the way, unfortunately, and over here. I know there's fish right here. Like that! <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, another smallmouth on the suicide shad, a little 10 incher. I let it fall down that hill. He was on that hill. Like I knew he would be right there. Guys, it just rained for. 20 whole seconds. Luckily, that's all it was. All right. Still no giants. And very slow fishing. We get one here and there. But they're adding up. Guarantee there's a lot sitting there with a worm I could get to. Hung. Oh, I just missed one. Oh, we hit it twice. Goodness, you got to run it along that bottom. Oh, not like that, like, like you did, but I got hit again. God, just put that lure on. There we go. Oh, yeah. I told you there was another one down there. <clears throat> hey, it's better. Not bad, look. All right, guys, two out of one hole. And he didn't tear up my bait yet. Boy, I can get about two more on it, though. Heck yeah. Boy, it's really picked up since we, since the stream doubled in size, the fishing's improved. A lot. I've already caught three fish down here in a half an hour. I just missed another one. Not kidding you. Just missed a fish. That time I, I was dragging it completely on the bottom. Give me a 16 or 17, goodness. Give me a big one. So I know there's one more setting in here. Could probably get a lot right out of this hole with a worm too. I just hate catching all the blue, get the little tiny sunfish, they just steal it. Smally. No giants today so far, just average 10 to 12 inch range. Nothing, nothing giant. But we're catching fish and that's all that matters. <sighs> I can't believe I caught three right here. Got something. Long ear. Alright, long ear sunfish guy. Pretty one. Pretty one. Nice little long ear. It's a beauty. Oh man, big old smallmouth. 
Holy cow, on a worm. Biggest one of the day. Guys, I got my biggest smallmouth of the day. Fishing with a red wiggler. <laughs> now he's a full 13. Oh my goodness, you just never know, guys. Smallmouth like worms too. They're biting better on live bait than uh, lures. Look at that one. That's a nice one. Now I've had a good day now. It's a nice small mouth here, guys. What it took was, uh, I said on the walk back, I'm gonna try live bait instead and see the difference. Sure as heck, got my biggest smallie of the day doing it. Heck yeah, man. You just never know. Sometimes you gotta use live bait. I know it's boring for some people, but it does work. You just gotta get cut through them other species, little sunfish, bluegill, perch, whatever. But you see what just happened. I did not catch any of this big on a lure today, so that should tell you something. It's a nice small mouth. That's awesome. Oh yeah, oh man, big one, biggest one of the day. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. come here, come here. No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go, on the pink one, way fatter too, bigger around, all right guys, I just got the fish of the day on the walk back to the car, now I've officially had a good, decent quality smallmouth day, this fish right here did it. I need you to film me. <laughs> he bit three times. It took three casts to get him. He kept short striking it. Now that's decent. Man. Got lucky and got a nice fish on the way back. We're almost to the car. <laughs> oh yeah. He's a lot bigger and girthier, isn't he? Mm. Pretty decent. He fought hard. Lucky he didn't get off. And that's a nice one, finally. That made it worth coming, that one. Caught him on the pink pulsar, guys. Smallmouth love pink. I think more than any other color. That's a really nice one. Yeah. He's 13. Yeah. <laughs>